Friends, here are a few of the people you will meet on your writer's journey. Of course you shall meet that I do not read people. For those, pay them no heed, as they are not your audience. After them, there will be those who you shall tell about your stories, about your grand epic adventure, where your heroes must track across mountains, through forests, and across plains, fighting fierce enemies to destroy the ancient artifact, to stop the end of the world. And they will sound greatly interested. You shall give them a piece of your work to read. And they shall say, it is too long. These are the two longers. Any piece of work shall be too long for them. Even if it is two hundred words, or half a page, it is too long. They may read your work once it's done, but they won't while you're working on it. After these will come those who, even before you give them your work, they already know what they will say. And that which they will say is, it could be a movie. Yes, they shall suggest you to take it to Hollywood and make a movie out of it. Even though you're writing a book, not a movie. But they don't have to read your work to know it could be a movie. You shall also run into those you shall give your work to, who will sound somewhat interested and will take your work. They won't sound hesitant, but they don't seem the most excited. But they shall take your work and read it. When they come back to you, they will be hesitant, kind of a little frightened and holding back. You think they must have bad news. But they shall say, I was not expecting it to be good, but it's awesome. These are those who expected your work to be another Eye of Argon. They had that low of expectations that they expected that quality of work. So no matter what, your work was great to them. Now your work might be wonderful, but they will give you little helpful advice, other than it's not awful. But accept their compliments and continue forward. Then there are those you give your work to, that after days, weeks, and months of hard looking at your work, you shall see that they only made it through the first paragraph. And now this isn't because your work is poorly written, or bad, or that they just couldn't make it through it because they couldn't stay focused. No, they question every word and letter you put to the page. They check for every grammatical error. They checked for every misspelling. And they found them if they were there. But you ask them to look at the story. How did the plot flow? Did they like the characters? But no, they did not see that. There will also be those you shall meet when you tell them that you're writing, that they shall say, get a real job. To those, pay them no heed either, as they are not your audience, and you will not be able to persuade them otherwise. Then, last of all, you will meet the famous author. You may meet them at a convention, maybe at a library, or a bookstore, or a university. When you tell them that you are trying to write, they shall be supportive of you. They shall shake your hand, fist bump you, and pat you on the back. They shall give you a little advice. Now they won't be able to read your work as, as they are busy with their own. But they shall give you the advice they can. Maybe they have a class you can take. Or maybe they have a podcast they do with other writers that you can listen to. Or maybe they have a YouTube channel you can watch and learn from. No matter what, they shall be supportive of you. And that support you can use to continue your way along your writer's journey.